While the mayor is the leader of the city of Los Angeles, that doesn't mean it is the most powerful position. Compared to cities like Chicago and New York, Los Angeles has a so-called weak mayor system. Our Ariel Wessler explains. In a city of nearly 4 million people, Los Angeles's highest public official doesn't have quite as much power as you might think. He has to deal with a very powerful city council, a completely separate county board of supervisors, and an independent school board that's elected by the voters. But to say L.A. has a weak mayor is a real exaggeration if you ask political expert Dr. Rafe Sunshine at Cal State L.A. The mayor has a lot of authority over the budget, appoints basically almost all city commissioners, can remove most of them, runs the departments of the city, and is the political leader of the whole region. So from that standpoint, it's very significant. But it's not strong the way the mayor of New York City is strong. In New York City, Sun and Shine says it's not a fragmented system. So the mayor controls the schools, the departments, and the counties, which make up the five boroughs. The city council has much less power. However, in L.A., crucial issues such as homelessness and affordable housing require extensive teamwork because the city controls housing, but the county oversees social services. The mayor can best make sure that the city makes its contribution and be part of knitting together these fragmented governments in some way to have a coordinated response, which has really been missing. Sun and Shine says weak mayors are usually found in small cities where the position is more of a figurehead and typically rotates among the members of the city council. L.A. is a bit of a hybrid. The mayor within the areas they control is quite strong, but they don't control the whole system. So that's why there's always a confusion between is the mayor weak or strong. But for the past few decades, LA's mayors here at City Hall have been slowly becoming a bit more powerful. In 1999, voters passed a city charter reform measure giving the mayor more authority, especially when it comes to hiring and firing personnel. And then at times, unique circumstances have given past mayors the opportunity to showcase their leadership. Richard Reardon, many years ago, was at his most effective after the earthquake. Uh, Tom Bradley, not a crisis, but an opportunity with the Olympics, was able to be very effective uh, because there was something that brought everybody together to address it. Sun and Shine says there is no magic solution to solving the city's most pressing issues. But can you really dig into the hard stuff and make it work? And whoever does that, I think, is going to be the most convincing and compelling candidate. And for now, the real power lies with L.A.'s voters.